um, I just watched with Linda and Lou. Um, apparently, I, I didn't watch Sunday morning. I don't always watch it with them. Um, apparently on Sunday morning, which is a New York program that Linda and Lou love to watch, um, there was a um, gentleman <coughs> who fills in city street potholes. So there's a hole made in the science project of blacktop that deteriorates and sinks in, so like a sinkhole. And then this really talented artist gets a great idea, like bulb light goes off, a what? Inspiration? <laughs> Who knows how uh, New Kingdom and Wild Kingdom and the toilet paper princess of the holy immortal, right, however we work. Um, so he gets this, like, bright idea to, that, that is what you humans say, right? Like, like, you get this great idea, like, bright idea, yeah, and then you're, like, so proud of it, like, it was all your own, right? Yeah, I know. You guys are so cute. <laughs> anyway, um, so then they put a mosaic, uh, they fill the hole, and then he puts a mosaic on top of it. Um, he had one as a sign of the time, uh, with Purell sa hand sanitizer, P-U-R-R-E-L-L, -L, right. And then the other one was toilet paper, ro one roll of toilet paper. Yeah, and then it had a blue with like a gold hue around it, and then like shout like like I don't know whatever you call this, right? Like jazz hands is what I think the gay guys call it nowadays. In signs of the times of like I never wanted to fucking be here or see any of this. Um, so here we are. And by the way, I know I always get the question. Yeah, you gay guys always existed, but like, so what? So did everything else. It just, the Dangerous Science Project wasn't evolving in a direction. You normally gathered with yourselves, by yourselves. You did theater productions by yourselves. You invited us. We enjoyed it. We, we enjoyed coming to watch you in your theatricalness of being gay and proud of whatever. I mean, we didn't think of it in, like, you just were you. We're just us, and... We get together and enjoy whatever production you put on. What I'm not okay with is when uh, the Wild Kingdom production took off because there was a uh, breakage in the New Kingdom line. So it, we're looking at scope of reality. And in 1900s, Nicklaus and I are the only immortals. Well, we're always the only immortals, so we're just going to start that way. We're the only extraterrestrials. We're the only immortals. We own the Roman-Romanian Empire, whichever way you want to say it. At the moment, I'm in Roman Empire because I'm alone. It'll be the Romanian Empire once I'm with him. That's the way that that works. So, old empire... Looking down the scope, one, we had a problem on the way to the new kingdom of Heaven Returns, where at the end of Empire, we'll be in the new kingdom of Heaven, the love story of Nicole and Nicklaus, in the, like, wherever, right, it, 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 that's where it culminates. So what we did was we went to the kingdom as it started to break apart and run wild with uh, ideas and investments and taking on, we call it water, but taking on new people and partners of like, whoa, what are you doing? I mean, there used to be like an inner sanctum to the kingdom. It was Nicklaus and I and our closest hundred family members in all different land masses within the one empire. That's, and we are the new kingdom, him and I, in the sense of we're the kingdom of heaven, we are the only gods, we're the star gods, and we travel and traverse through time with your families and with your wherever, whatever, whatever cultivates. It's usually 
something that starts in the past and what it starts like a tidal wave and a, actually it's more like a tsunami it, it comes in such a big wall but it was already created and then it like unfolds like a carpet and then people just walk into it and down it that's when the kingdom works that's how it goes when the kingdom started to break apart because of Elizabeth um, and others uh, that's when then we had to do New Reich then we had, in New Reich being the progressive party uh, it, with Roosevelt then uh, one of my R Russian kingdoms didn't it was they don't read English uh, well and he mistranslated the runic druidic or it's runic, druidic, um, something else, where I scribe things and then I describe. So I had to then rush over to him to say, whoa, 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 before, don't get mad. I'm working my magic over here with the rest of the kingdom. I know it was a mistake. I now see that you brought it to my attention, how you could have thought of that. I got it. I'm working my magic. I don't want anybody to be angry with you. And then I said, do you want me to... To say that it was you and that I'm aware of it and I'm trying to fix it. I was like, because I know that, you know, you don't want all the blame and whatever to fall on you. But I'm, but I know about it. Right. And then like, and then I didn't even know how to like help them anymore because they became like such head cases, even in the inner sanctum. And then they locked me out. I said, listen to me. You're the one who made the mistake. I was gracious enough in order to work out something to make sure that your nothing, your children and everybody was going to be safe. Now you're going to lock me out? Then I started to, as the kingdom grew further and further apart, I then uh, went to, um, I was working the war as a medic to learn what, that the phrenic nerve is a separate system than the blood supply to the kidney. I know in 1940s, in that era, they did not understand that because they hadn't discovered it yet or whenever it was discovered. I think it might have even been the 1800s. As it, excuse me, the kingdom was breaking and they were now creating purposely in manifestation an ER and a doctor and a scenario that was going to be very painful and our love story and the kingdom is no more. The empire fell. The kingdom totally fell. There's no Elizabeth. There's no inner sanctum. There's nobody to protect the kingdom. There's still the two immortals and the two extraterrestrials, me and Niklaus. But we have no love for humanity that treats us this way. They make the blacks in America more important than their czar and their goddess. They don't even know they have one. And if I tried to tell them that, they'd tell me that I was crazy. In fact, Frank, today at Starbucks, I had a conversation with him, and I said, um, do me a favor. I said, Frank, well, I, actually, I started it off, and I go, okay, so we're going to do a conversation between the Nazis in 1940s for placement and the Holy Roman Empire being Catholic and the Nazis being the occult. And I said, and they, I said okay. And he goes, yeah. And, he, and then Craig yells out, Jew! And I'm like, now, where did you come from with you? Like, and I go, all right, so now here's the thing. As a Nazi and as the educator for the Holy Roman Catholic Empire, sitting in a, 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 a circle with all of you, if I use the word Jew and assign it to, say, Craig at the moment, because he's of one age bracket, and I use a different letter, but the same two last letters being you being new so n e w because what is my children deliver what i delivered it my children into is ew so this is the new and then say hugh being an h e w was something respectable in my grandparents time so now you have a direction of the words for if we have one conversation as hugh being the most respectable person, and then a next generation being a Jew, 
and then the next generation being a new, now you understand placement if we're having a conversation as to what era. Do you understand? It's just a way, it's a three-letter word. Three-letter and four-letter words are usually special code and special operations for the functions of human in Wild and New Kingdom. It's just how we have to protect ourselves against you humans who keep thinking you know better and waking up all sorts of cr fucking crazy. And a kingdom that's splitting apart to shreds like a calcified crystal um, kidney stone that has shredded its only delivery tube to the bladder to uh, fix it, to, to rid itself. So, um, I don't know what to tell you, any of you, but uh, that's the way that that works. And so, um, there is no more royalty. There is, I mean, you took on um, African Americans in my day, my new day, and there's no more church. Nobody talks about Catholics or the church. There's no sanctity of marriage or anything. Everything r literally is the holy toilet paper. This is the shittiest society that the old kingdom built as it was shredding itself apart for Elizabeth and other issues over the Americas. Stupid shit is what I got thrown to the wolves for and ousted. And then humans, if you want to go kill anything that claims that it's inner sanctum and that it's a kingdom, go right ahead. I mean, full military force, anything in your lands that says that it's uh, holy or that it actually has a relationship with God, go kill it. Because no, it doesn't. I haven't seen a single fucking person in here. You left me in the wild kingdom with two toilet paper marriages and the shittiest possible life while the, uh, what you used to call the shit skins, right, while they are making so much money, they're running government, they're taking over, uh, the new discovered lands that you all used to fight over as to who owns it. I don't really give a shit. I don't want it. So I want to go back to Europe where I run shit properly. Although that's falling apart because you've all locked me here. See, this isn't ultimatums. Like, I give you the ultimatum as the god and as the owner of kingdom and the empire. I know things. How do I know things? Because I'm immortal. I lived through it and I go forward. What I expect my managers to do on every set that's ever been that calls itself royal is to not look at my actions but to look at my lettered demands in order to rectify the future and to not take things into a worse direction or take on new water being the fucking fat ass dead whale in the ocean that then bloats up I have efficient scope guys whoever they are, that I would take into a royal court and remake my inner sanctum. Immediately, like that, over what's already there and what just keeps taking on water because it wants to be bigger and more bloated than the fucking next guy. Same story, just different day, and this is where you led your kingdom to. You thought it was your kingdom. Well, your piece of the kingdom that affects everything by how you treated my branch, which you totally disregarded. You didn't like who I was in the future. I wasn't kingdom in the future. So you weren't going to acknowledge my parents, my family, my whatever. So it just steadily got worse. You were like, nope, we kicked her out. Uh, you can't kick out the immortal, stupid. We did tell you that. So anything that's uh, not Hitler and anything that stayed by Hitler... Door to door, just fucking kill them out. I don't need sanctums or people saying that they're in their sanctum if he can't verify it. Whatever stands with him and helps him get me and him to an immortal love story, which is what the only reason why humans are allowed to live anyway. You see, you humans don't even know what your place in the world is or what you what your functions for. I tell you, <laughs> this is not it.